Hi, I'm Jeff Kubel. I'm here to talk to you about the freeze miser. And as you can see in here, it's at 11 degrees, and you can see how the drip of the freeze miser is releasing water that has fallen below 37 degrees. Uh, that's the amount of water that it needs to drip in order to keep that faucet and that pipe that's about a foot out of the ground from freezing. And I bet you're wondering right now, well, how does this thing work? Well, I'm about to show you. You just saw in, in, in our box uh, the freeze miser activated. Well, how does it activate and what does it do? Well, if I were to take the freeze miser and cut it in half, this is what you're going to see. So as you screw the freeze miser onto your hose or your faucet or float valve, you screw it on all the way and you turn the water on wide open. The water's going to sit up in this chamber and right here you have a stainless steel rod with a spring that's got about 150 psi that's trying to push this rod down but it's got nowhere to go because in here we have a substance called a thermal wax. When this thermal wax reaches a temperature of 37 degrees it starts to crystallize and freeze and when that happens it starts to shrink. When it shrinks it allows this rod to be pushed down and you have two ports right here on the outside of this brass that, that, that uh, stainless steel rod unseats and starts to release water. That water runs down to each side of this port, down the side of this brass. That's when the freeze monitor is going to do one or three things. One or three things, I should say, is it's going to stay right where it is because it can ma maintain the water temperature at 37, or if the temperature of that water keeps dropping, going to 36 or 35 degrees, this thermal wax continues to freeze and shrinks in its volume even more release even, even more water until it can sustain the 37 degree mark. Once it does that, it stays right where it is. Now as your temperature of your water goes above 37 degrees, this thermal wax goes back to a liquid state, therefore pushing the rod back up and reseeding it and shutting the water off. And you might ask, well, why do you release the water when the temperature of the water reaches 37 degrees? five degrees above freezing. The reason being is we don't know what your supply line looks like. The supply line can be a foot above ground, it could be five feet, or it could be up to 150 feet. That five degree variance allows us to maintain that pipe or hose and the faucet from freezing. And basically that's how the freeze miser works. 